Okay, this is part four of the um, bank account project. Um, we have just finished off with the get data method, and now it tells us that we're ready to write the show values method that will display the data. It's going to call the method that deducts the monthly fee and display the balance again. It's also going to call the method that explains the deduction policy. So let's try that. We're going to write a show values method that um, uh, displays the values. So here inside main, I'm going to write an obj1 dot, whoops, wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm going to say show values and pass it obj1. So I am passing it, one of these objects to this show values method that I have yet to write. I'm going to write that method right down here at the bottom and it is going to be public static void. It's not returning anything and it will be called show values and it's going to accept as an argument a bank account object. And what we want this method to do is to display the values in the bank account. So system.out.print lin account number. And I'm going to concatenate that together with obj.get account number. Next thing I'm going to display is system.out.print lin account owner. And concatenate that together with obj dot get owner name. Finally, system did out dot printlin. Whoops. Balance. Notice I'm putting a dollar sign inside the double quotes there. Don't have to do that. I just thought it might be uh, interesting. Make it a little bit better formatting. And then I'm going to call this. Oh, look at that. I called the wrong method. I called set balance when in fact I wanted get balance. Now, the instructions tell me that I also have to call the method that's going to deduct the monthly fee deduct monthly fee and I have to call the method that's going to explain the monthly fee. The explain monthly fee method is static so I call that from the bank account name not the object name. I call the explain monthly fee by saying bank account dot explain monthly fee because it is a uh, static method. It exists when no objects of the class exist so I call it from the class name. Finally, it t the instructions tell me to then, after I do that, display the balance again. I'm going to add uh, a new line here. Be a couple of them actually, because after I print an account, I want to skip a few lines. I think it will enhance readability for uh, the rest of the um, uh, objects as I print them out. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to test your program and then add the code to show values for all four of the objects. Recall that we did not put data in obj4 other than the default data from the constructor. So I'd like you to just try it and see what you get printed out. Um, when you are done with that, be sure that you document your program the way we have always done with your name a brief description of what the program does, and some narrative about how you tested the program. I hope you have found these videos helpful.